So, um, fallopian tube or uterine tubes, mm -hmm. they're called salpanges. You have the word salpangitis from it. So you have, is, you have to assess the body or the fundus of the uterus. And laterally, you're going to find a little line, a little crevasse, a little um, space there. And you have different parts of the fallopian tube. You have the intramural or interstitial inside the body of the uterus. Then it gets, it's a smaller part called the isthmus. And then you have the ampulla, and then you have the fringes or the fimbria. And here really in the intrauteral portion, and she has a tiny, tiny, tiny twist there. We're gonna do lymphofascia release. And here we go. She has different area where she drains the lymph. And relax, and I will check. Absolutely no pull now. You feel it? You feel, yeah, better. What was it pulling on your occiput, on your head? And well, my head would want to do this, and my whole body would want to come down into it. Okay. So probably is also, so I go further down, there's nothing. Now, I'm going to go on the ovary laterally, and I'm going to try to see if one of the fimbria is, so I am on fallopian tube, if one of the fimbria is connected with the ovary, here it is, fimbria ovarica, putting my two fingers together. That's the one fimbria that connects with the, with the ovary. I already put off, here it is, point of balance, and then the lymph is going to the internal iliac nodes. And it's, that was a very strong pull that you had there too. And you take a deep breath, it's good. And I will check, no more pull. Intra fallopian tube is no tension, and especially I'm um, pay attention to that intramural portion. Pretty relaxed. Just when I'm here, I'm going to check if the intestine around are doing any kind of pull, the small intestine, but they're not. Oh, very. So we're good. We're done with the fallopian tube.